Hey guys, here's a super straightforward video on how to export your video or images out of Final Cut Pro with transparency. It's super simple, but it does get asked quite a lot. And here's a pretty good use case as you might have a logo animation that you wanna export from Final Cut Pro with the alpha layer and then use regularly on top of your footage. So we'll start with an image. Let's say we want to save this frame over here. Just go file share, save current frame. Now you might not have this prompt and if you don't then select add destination and now you will double click on save current frame. So now if we go file and then share we can find save current frame and we'll click on that. So there's quite a few options that you can select here. The only one that doesn't have transparency on it is the JPEG image. It's just the format that doesn't have uh, that layer at all. Uh, I usually use PNG image if I'm going to be bringing it back into Final Cut Pro, but uh, the other formats that are more regularly used is Photoshop as well as TIFF. So I'm just going to select PNG and then I'll go next and save the destination that I want to save it to. I'll just call that logo frame and then save it. Now in some cases you'll find that when you export the image the alpha layer doesn't appear. FCPX somehow forgets there's an alpha layer there, but there is a simple fix for this. Just go into your effects and search for draw mask and I'll just drop it onto the clip that I'm using here. So now I'll just export in the same way that we just demonstrated and if you notice here's the clip I have the alpha layer. Alright so we have our image with alpha, now we will export a video. So into the same menu as before we will go file, share, now we'll select master file. You can also just hit command and E and it will also bring this prompt up. Now we'll go into settings and the important thing here is to change the video codec to Apple ProRes 4444 or the XQ version. These are the only formats of ProRes which export with an alpha or transparency layer. Now the only difference between the native and XQ version is that the XQ is just a slightly higher data rate codec. So now we'll just render and wait for Final Cut Pro and now we have our video with an alpha channel. So we'll import this back into Final Cut Pro and I'll add some footage here and you'll see that we can just bring our clip on and has the transparent background we're looking for. Thank you for watching guys, subscribe for more quick tips for Final Cut Pro and we'll catch you soon.